In this video, I am going to show you a tutorial on how to design a CMOS inverter in Cadence Virtuoso. By the end of this video, you will be able to design and simulate the CMOS inverter in Cadence Virtuoso. Let's get started. First, open the terminal and type Virtuoso to open the tool. Then, click on File and select Create New Library. Name the library, select Attach an existing technology library, and click Apply. Select the technology library. I will select GPDK90 and click OK. Now, let's create a cell view within the library we just created. To do so, click on File, then New, and select Cell View. Name the cell, select your library, the one you just created, and click OK to open the schematic editor. To add components to the canvas, you can either click on the icon called Create Instance or press the letter I on your keyboard. Click on Browse and select the GPDK90 library. In this library, you can select various types of components, like MOSFETs, resistors, and capacitors. Now, let's choose PMOS, and in the View window, select Symbol. Place it on the canvas. Next, repeat the same steps for the NMOS transistor. Press F on your keyboard to fit the schematic to the window. To connect the transistors, we need to add wires. Click on the icon next to Create Instance called Create Narrow Wire or press the letter W on your keyboard. Now, connect the transistors as shown in the video. Next, we need to create input and output pins. To do this, click on the Create Pin icon or press the letter P on your keyboard. Name the pin, set the pin direction to input or output and click Hide to place the pin in the schematic. To rotate a component, press the letter R on your keyboard. Now, click Check and Save to detect any errors or warnings. Next, we need to convert the schematic to a symbol. To do this, click on Create, hover over Cell View, and then click on From Cell View. Click OK. Now, assign the pins according to the schematic pin positions. For example, VDD and GND pins are on the top and bottom respectively, and VIN and VOUT pins are on the left and right respectively. Click OK and the Symbol Editor window will open. You can edit the symbol here and save it. 
follow the steps to complete the symbol creation. After the symbol is created, click Save. and create a new cell view for the test bench and simulation of the CMOS inverter. Click Create Instance, or press I on your keyboard, to add the symbol we just created into the schematic editor. Now, follow the video to build a test bench for the CMOS inverter. Assign values for the input square waveform, such as voltages, rise time, fall time, period, and pulse width. Click Check and Save. For simulation, 
Click on Launch and select ADEL. Click on Analysis, then choose from the various types of analysis. Keep Transient Analysis selected, set the stop time for the simulation, and click OK. To plot the input and output waveforms, click on Outputs, then select the option to be plotted, and click Select on Schematic. Now, click on the input and output wires. Click play to run the simulation. Right click on the graph and select split current strip into trace. This is the output waveform of the CMOS inverter, which has been designed and simulated using Cadence Virtuoso.